So this is going to be a quick explanation because I'm not going to waste your time with 70 minutes of bullshit anatomical minutiae that will never show up on your USMLE. The idea is to get you points, okay? So you need to know straight up that pain over the central palm, sans, without, pain over the anatomic snuff box is going to be consistent with a lunate fracture on the USMLE, okay? So when we talk about foosh falling on outstretched hand, almost always that's going to be pain over the anatomic snuff box, which is the base of the thumb on the, the dorsoradial aspect. So the anatomic snuff box, if you have pain when you have fall on an outstretched hand, that's going to be scaphoid fracture, which of course is not the case here. So scaphoid fracture, you need to uh, immobilize in a thumb spica cast. The initial x-ray is often negative, but you need to immobilize in the thumb spica cast and then re-x-ray in three weeks. If you don't immobilize, there can be avascular necrosis of the scaphoid bone, okay? Really, really high yield for USMLE. You've probably heard that before. That's not a big deal. But what you do need to know the, the value point here is like, ooh, wow, there's something, uh, you, can get a, you can get a lunate fracture on USMLE. Not joking, it's on the NVME exam. It's not dramatic or rocket science, but it's something you just need to know, okay? So lunate fracture, this is going to be foosh, fall on out, stretched hand, where you do not have pain over the anatomic stuff box, and you have pain in the base of the palm, okay? That's lunate fracture. Um, so it's on the NVMEs. Now, the other thing you need to know is hamate, hook of hamate fracture, often, which is uh, medial on the wrist. Um, hook of hamate fracture is often from handlebar impaction, which can lead to Guyon Canal Syndrome, G U Y O N Canal Syndrome, which is ulnar nerve entrapment at the wrist. Okay, so you get hypothenar paresthesias slash numbness. So those are the three high yield. Uh, injuries you need to know. Uh, that hook of handmade fracture, handlebar injury, ulnar nerve entrapment at the wrist, lunate, fall on an outstretched hand, pain in the base of the central palm, scaphoid, that's pain over the anatomic snuff box, and you have to immobilize and thumb spike a cast, initial x-ray is negative, re-x-ray in three weeks, um, and then high risk of scaphoid avascular necrosis if you don't immobilize. Now the carpal bones, when we talk about the two rows, proximal and distal, uh, lateral to medial, so radial to ulnar. Sh the mnemonic is, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. So scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Okay, U.S. simile, I mean, in terms of what they could ask you, it's quite rare for them to actually show you an x-ray of the carpal bones with an arrow pointing and asking you to identify. It can happen, but it's fucking rare. My my input could just be, and I'll make other questions on this, don't worry, but my in, my input could be just quickly, you know, you could Google the, uh, the carpal bones and just know those for your exam. But apart from just randomly spending 20 seconds Googling the carpal bones, I just want you to know scaphoid fracture, lunate fracture, and hook of hamate fracture. Um, and of course, this one's just lunate fracture, okay? That's it.